Now listen carefully to the next words, because they're really important. How important this gift of peace is, and who gives it. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. How many times has he said that throughout his earthly life, but especially after the resurrection? The apostles were gathered in the upper room, scared to death. And Jesus doesn't barge into the room and start chewing them out. He says, peace be with you. When Thomas, who finally joined the crowd, was also gathered in the upper room, Jesus addressed Thomas and the rest of them. Peace be with you. What does that peace mean, though? Does that mean we're not going to have any trouble? No. Does that mean that we're not going to have any worries or anxieties? No. But it does mean that he's always with us in our worries, in our anxieties, to give us the courage to face and to know that we're not alone in our challenges of life. That's the peace that he wishes to give you and I. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other a sign of peace. <laughs>